Hey, welcome to Five Lakes Garage. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. Haven't done this in a long time, but we're gonna tackle a little bicycle. A uh, good friend of mine uh, called me up the other day saying that uh, her daughter had a slight mishap. And now the, yeah, that's not supposed to move like that. So what we're gonna do today is completely tear this down and we're gonna lube it, grease it, put it back together, make sure all the bearings are there, make sure all the clearances are there. Um, this is kind of a you know low-end bike uh, for children, so it doesn't have to be perfect spot on. I don't think she's gonna be taking it racing. But she could, I don't know. But anyway, let's dive into it. All right, one thing to keep in mind, when you're taking pedals off, the first thing you wanna do is take the pedal off we take take this pedal off. We're taking that pedal off. Uh, this one's not a necessity. To take it off. I'm just gonna take it off anyway, and uh, then be able to take everything out, take the bearings out, and get this whole thing out of the housing to make to inspect it and clean it and all that good stuff. Now, one thing you have to realize is that one side will be a lefty, lefty tidy, righty loosey, and the other one is righty tidy, lefty loosey. They are backwards mostly because of as you're pedaling, you don't want it to un um, to unscrew. So the one on the right side, lefty loosey. The one on the, on the uh, left side would be righty loosey. So keep that in mind when you do it. All right, as you can see, we've already taken the <clears throat> pedals off. We've taken the shaft out, bearings, everything. All of the races actually look in pretty good shape. And if you look right in here, if these were all wallered out or deformed or something like that there are these little cups that you can get you can actually rebuild this some bikes uh it's not that way you just have to just ditch it but this one it's not too bad and look i finally found a place with gloves only well, could get largest so they're a little snug but we'll see how well they do so this is the crank right here uh one thing that i did find if you look right there, so we'll get at the focus. That is the main problem that we have. So all the threads are pretty much gone. Uh, so what we're gonna do is actually put a spacer on this side and just move it over just a little bit. It shouldn't be enough to really mess up the chain alignment, but it should be enough to be able to get into some decent threads, we hope. Uh, I just took a, bit, a washer and kind of had to waller it out a little bit with a um, unibit. But let's put this back together and grease up our bearings. All right, so the first thing that goes on would be your sprocket. All right, so as you can see, it has a, was that a pence? No, a hex, hexagon right there. So that will fit right on your sprocket. Now hold it in. Now originally I already had two spacers in there already. Now I tried to take those out, but that actually brought it too close to the actual frame and the actual sprocket was digging into the frame. So that wasn't gonna work. So we really wanna push it out a little bit. So I made this little washer, put that on top. Uh-oh, there we go. So hopefully that will give it enough room to get away from those threads. All right, next step, putting your uh, lock nut on here. So this one here, okay. see it has three different um, sections on here. Now there is a tool that you can use to put this out there uh, to tighten it up. I don't have those tools. So a screwdriver is in order. And if you also notice, this right here is where the bearing sits. So when you set the preload on this, that's where your bearings are gonna sit and you have to put that on with a little bit of force, not too much. Um, I mean, you can put an inch pound torque wrench on it Not necessary not for a kid's bike But put that up there Now also remember these some of them are right hand thread some of them are left hand thread You just got to find the right thread for you Let me get this on All right, so I got my spacer. I got the washers this thing here was a pain in the butt because you do not want to cross thread that so I was able to get that actually on there without cross threading, which was good. So now we need to put a bearing on there. For, for that, we need to grease it and then we'll stick it back into the hole. 
So this is the actual bearing. Uh, pretty simple setup, a bunch of ball bearings around a metal sleeve, kind of holds them in. And you're gonna stick these in there like so. All right, so the opening of the bearings will go towards the inside. So when this goes into here, these outside rollers will hit to the outside of that spindle right there. But first, let's put some grease in here. All right, so most of the time with bicycles, uh, there is a spray lubricant that you can put in there. Um, with like a road bike, so this is kind of a, it could go off road. Most of the time it's gonna spend its life on road. I kind of like to use a marine grease to where it's, the water doesn't quite wash it off. Uh, some things will get stuck in there, but it should be fine. You probably recognize this t-shirt. It's uh, from some other videos. Now it's a rag, because too many people thought I stunk every time, even right out of the washer, still stinks. All right, so on this side, it's a little bit different. You have two spots instead of three, like the other one, but it goes on the same way. Uh, the inside diameter of this is actually holds up on the gear, or on the bearing, rather. And you kind of do the same take same technique with a screwdriver and it'll kind of tighten it up Now this one here was a pain in the butt to get off So I did clean it up pretty good and try to get the threads nice and clear So that it will go on I don't like it. It's kind of binding a little bit And that is actually looks like it's crooked Let's Pull it off and see what's going on Oh, that's much a bad time. All right, so one thing that messed up last time was uh, you gotta put this locker washer in. Now it's got a small little groove in there and then there's a small little groove in the actual crank itself. Well, that's gonna sit right there. So that's gonna keep that guy from moving because you need, whoop, oh, wrong way. You want to put your lock nut in there. There we go. So we'll tighten that up and find the wrench. All right, so we're gonna take this and cinch it down. But you don't want that flying off. All right, let's get our chain back on. And our rear tire. All right, now on this particular one, I need a shot of that. Uh, this one has a rear brake. So a lot of the other ones that you see around town, they all have hand brakes. This one has a foot brake. So if you pedal backwards, it will lock up your rear tire. So this little bar, there we go, keeps the entire mechanism from actually rotating backwards. So as soon as you hit the brakes and going behind I'll show you as soon as I put it together okay. all right something else on this particular type of bike as you can tell my chains real loose right so basically you unloose uh, you loosen up your rear tire and just pull it back uh, make sure it's nice and straight because you don't want them to go around in circles or turn if they don't want to all right see so yeah, I just pedal backwards and it stop that now this thing is actually binding up pretty good Still not liking that. Hmm. But the good thing is, is that even with that space in there, it's not hurting my chain. It's a little loose, so I gotta pull the chain back. All right, so that's a pretty quick rundown on a very simple bicycle. Uh, don't be afraid of it. It's just bearings, just a few nuts and bolts. Um, I'm gonna go through this one more time to make sure everything else is good to go wheel bearings are good uh, They're pumped up. They seem to be a little soft uh, Get the seat adjusted and be ready to give it back to the little girl. He wants to ride it But anyway uh, Let me know what you think about this one. Um, I can do more of them if you like and um, Yeah comment let me know Don't let, uh, If you like it subscribe You'll see some more of them. 
a uh, couple other updates. Yeah, if you follow the channel, that guy needs a uh, transmission rebuild. I put a tester on it, and the highest I got was 50 pounds of pressure inside the case, which means maybe the pump is not in all the way. I don't know, but if that's the case, then the whole thing is trash. So that's gonna be fun. You should come join me for that one. Anyway, simple bicycle. About ready to give this back to the customer. Thanks so much. Later.